This is a farmhouse in Delhi. Here both grey and black water are treated applying an improved septic tank. The total wastewater generated here is about 600 to 700 litres per day. Both grey water and black water are collected in a series of chambers. From these, it is diverted to the improved septic tank. In an ordinary septic tank, we have two chambers. But in the improved septic tank, like in the farmhouse, we have four compartments that are 1 meter in length and 1.5 to 2 meters in depth. The incoming fresh sewage settles in the first chamber and the overflow moves to the next one through the 3 inch pipe at the top. This helps in improving the mixing of the fresh sewage with the already existing activated sludge, enriched in microorganisms for digesting it. To enhance the function of the microorganisms, a biocatalyst is added to the reactor. Anaerobic filters are added in the third chamber of the reactor. These act as a breeding ground for the microbes and result in the effective treatment of incoming wastewater. Most of the treatment so far is anaerobic, therefore the fluid generated is still smelly. Therefore, as the water flows out of the improved septic tank, it is trapped in a polishing pond, where it undergoes aerobic treatment when exposed to atmosphere. Here, the treated water is exposed to sunlight and this helps in reducing the pathogen count. Finally, this treated water is pumped out for irrigation. In Delhi's Sriram school, 3,000 to 4,000 litres of wastewater from the canteen is recycled for irrigation. The raw water from the canteen contains a high amount of oil and grease. This is arrested in the grease trap. The grease-free water flows for its primary treatment into the underground anaerobic tank. This is of a volume of 6,000 litres. It has three compartments which cause 48 hours of retention time for the anaerobic treatment to take place. Here the wastewater undergoes a considerable reduction in BOD. Settlement happens in the first compartment then it flows to the second chamber which has anaerobic filtering material. The filtered water flows to the last collection chamber where it is collected. From here the water is pumped to the root zone treatment tank where it undergoes secondary treatment as it flows horizontally in the gravel filter. The treated grey water is fed in the distribution chamber. The water flows below the surface of the filtering material through three PVC pipes of 3 inch diameter. The plants remove the phosphates and nitrates and add oxygen to the treated water and this is reused for gardening.